comparison of the Ultimaker 2 and the brand new Ultimaker 2 Plus, which has just been released uh, for 2016. Right, so on initial um, inspection, they're pretty much exactly the same um, aesthetically. Uh, but if you take a look at the, the uh, print head on the Ultimaker 2 first, uh, that's the old fan bracket that you've got there. Now this printer has actually got the Olsen block fitted to it, which, is, which was an upgrade, which allows you to interchange the nozzles. So now we'll compare on the new Ultimaker 2 Plus. Uh, as you can see, they've completely changed the angle of the fan bracket. The fans are mounted at a horizontal angle. And there's been some other minor tweaks in the fan bracket as well, just to, just to improve cooling that little bit more. Uh, you, you've also got an interchangeable nozzle as standard, and there's four different nozzles that you get with the printer to uh, experiment with. You also, if we take a little look at the, uh, the housing at the top of the print head, you can see that there is no longer a hole uh, for a second extruder. As, and if we compare back over to the old print head, you can see there is a hole on that one. So if you take a look around the back of both machines, uh, so this is the Plus and this is the uh, older 2. Uh, it looks pretty similar, but there are a few differences. Uh, on the older machine, you can see there are holes pre-drilled um, to take a second feeder mechanism there. Um, and then on the newer machine, these are completely gone. You've also got the, um, the filament guide on the older machine, and that's not there on the new one either. Um, so that kind of hints towards the fact that uh, the second extruder may not be coming on this machine. So if we take a closer look at the new feeder in more detail, as you can see, um, there's an obvious difference straight away. Um, so on the first one, you can adjust the tension um, via an Allen key at the top. And you've got an indicator on the right of the machine there, um, which is a standard set to the highest tension there is. And to release, uh, release the tension completely, it can be quite fiddly, you need um, some pliers or something to stick in here to, to pull back and release, um, release the uh, filament if you need to. So now if we go over to the new feeder, um, the exact same uh, way to adjust the tension is via a Allen key at the top. But if we look at the indicator, um, the standard uh, setting is in the middle of the gauge. And this basically means that we can add more tension um, than standard, which can be really useful um, depending on the filament that you're going to be using. Uh, you can also loosen it off as well. And the quick release for the tension is much more easy to use. Uh, it's just a case of lifting this lever here. Uh, if I lift it, you can see it releasing in this little gap there as well. Right, so overall, um, you've got quite a few little upgrades on the Ultimaker 2 Plus, um, which should improve reliability and also your print quality a little bit with the uh, improved cooling uh, of the fan bracket. You should get smoother, smoother transitions between layers. Um, the heat up time on the nozzle has also been halved, um, so what would have taken two minutes on the old Ultimaker 2 will now only take a minute on the new one, and that's down to an improved heater. And yeah, basically, you've, you've got a slightly improved version of what was already a really good printer. Um, and I haven't changed their pricing structure at all, so really you're just getting a fine-tuned version of uh, the previous model.
you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.